Yes, good night, uh, my fellow viewers. Welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Yes, today is Sunday, September 5th, 2021, and it's 11.20 p.m. my time. Welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. This is Detective Porter, an experienced police detective of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, who used to station at Unsby Police Station, is about to educate you with facts and not propaganda, hyperbole, or embellishment for the government or its minions. I am here to support the police officers of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and not the criminals or their supporters. I, Detective Porter, do believe that criminals must live in fear for their lives and not the law-abiding citizens. When necessary, preemptive strikes must be authorized, especially when the life of a police officer or a member of the security force loses their life to the hands of the criminals. The same methods used by the United States military when terrorists kill a member in uniform, the killers are killed as soon as possible, even with drones from the sky. Terrorists are not nice people. Who the Jamaican government must play with at any time. But we have been seeing for the past 30 years where the terrorists and the murderers in Jamaica have been treated with kids' glove by the government. I am here to talk about police officers in the Jamaica Constabulary Force refusing to take vacation leave because they do not want to take the hit from their monthly salary, which is sad for them and their family, also the organization and the people of Jamaica that they are sworn to protect and serve. You got to understand that police officers at times has to be breaking up fights chasing and arresting suspects. Maybe the deadliest part of, of police duty, not only because of the apparent risk of violence, but it may trigger an heart attack. And an in-depth study of what kills cops in the United States of America that shows stress can set off Heart attacks. Yes, police officers in Jamaica do suffer heart attack at times and strokes. And the reason why I'm making this video, it's because a friend of mine, Detective Sergeant Leighton Butner of 100 Man Police Station in St. Catherine South Police Division, had suffered a stroke recently. I have known the man for over 33 years. So that's over three decades. Good police officer. The risk of sudden heart attack and strokes is as much as 69 times higher when police struggle to restrain people are fighting to defend their lives in shootout with gunmen. I want you to listen to me. It takes a police officer as much as 69 times higher when police struggle to restrain people are fighting to defend their lives in sh shootouts with gunmen. Jamaica is one of the most dangerous place, places on earth to serve as a police officer. Gunmen are not afraid of trying to kill them. It is a daily occurrence for them to defend their lives. It is by far one of the most stressful and dangerous job in Jamaica compared to other jurisdictions in the world. And the worst part about it, being a police officer in Jamaica, it's the most ungrateful job in the world. And when you're a police officer in Jamaica, you're the most hated person by the people, especially the poor people. So everybody here, the people at the top, those are the elitists. Most of them are criminals. 
Don't watch because they are wear suit and ties. They are criminals because crime is funded by these people at the top. They are these ones who are responsible for the legislatures that take place downtown. And then you have the politicians. And then you have the bosses slaves at, the, at 103 to 106 all over the That's the people, by the commissioner and his minions. They don't care about you. A team reporting in the Washington Street Journal report, we found that stressful and physically demanding law enforcement activities were associated with large increase in the risk of sudden cardiac death. Strokes compared with routine, non-emergency policing activity. The team led by Stefano Scale at UNO, Harvard School of Public Health wrote, Law enforcement is already a dangerous occupation. In 2011 to 2012, the fatality rate among patrol officers in the United States was 15 to 16 per 100,000 full-time worker, about three to five times the national average for a private sector's employee. employees, the researchers wrote. So if it is 15 to 16 percent in the United States of America, so you got to multiply that by four because, you know, everything in Jamaica is four times what happened in the United States. So if it is 15 to 16 percent, per 100,000 in Jamaica. You have to put it in context for the Jamaican police. 6 to 84 per 100,000 full-time workers. Most are caused by trauma, such as shooting or accident. And police already have a higher risk of heart disease, the number one killer of Americans. So it would be the same for the police officers in Jamaica and even worse because the amount of stress the police officers in Jamaica have to endure doing their job because of all the intricacies of doing your job as a police officer and dealing with the various agencies and, you know, the press is not your friend and the police is, being a police, you know, it's your enemy stuck in every section of the society there in Jamaica. So this is what Stefano Scale found that three quarters of police officers, firefighters, and other first responders have high blood pressure in the early studies. And that is the United States of America, first first world country where they treat their emergent um, their emergency workers, firefighters, police officers, nurses, and all those people. They give them the best treatment ever. You know, in Jamaica it's not like that. It's totally different. In Jamaica. You're a police, you are just a little bit above the security guard. The only people in the police force that enjoy a little luxury are the gazette officers. So the rank and file from the inspector go down, go ahead, dog, and have them supper. So the researchers, they look at two databases covering the deaths of more than 4,500 police officers between 1984 and 2010 from the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund an officer down memorial page. So it's a research. So in Jamaica for the past since nineteen eighty four to twenty twenty ten, maybe about eighteen thousand police officers die already from cardiac arrest even when they are on the job or shortly after they retire. Sudden cardiac death, about a quarter die while restraining or fighting someone. In Jamaica, most of the time, you know, they would get a strokes. Shortly after they were in some tussle with some corrosing, you know, common people. You understand those um, parasites are living together. 20% of police, yes, they die. Um, shortly after they completed um, physical training. 12% die while chasing suspect in Jamaica and 8% die during some rescue operation. 20% die. 26% die during... 23% die while performing routine duties. 
such as writing parking ticket and the rest is class and doing shootouts with gunmen. That's a lot of police officers die every year in Jamaica. The risk of dying are suffering from a stroke. Suddenly was 39 to 68 times higher during restraint and al or altercation and 32 to 51 times higher during pursuit. Kales and colleagues found. For example, if a police officer spends 75% of their time and routine and a non-emergency duty would expect 75% of sudden cardiac deaths associated with such duties they wrote. But in fact, 77% of the deaths occur during non-routine duty. You know, physical restraint, alt altercation, compromise about 1-2% to 2 of police officers annually, but accounted for about 20% of due to sudden cardiac death. So that's what happened to, um, that's what happened to a lot of police. They just go home, um, stressfully, especially those who work in the garrisons, you know, they go home, and the next thing, when they go to sleep, never wake up, like Blanford Davis. Most of the police officers in Jamaica are afraid of taking vacation leave because when they do, they lose their allowances, which make up a bulk of their pay. So they refuse to take leave and stay on the job to make ends meet for themselves and their family alike. So this is what is happening to police officers. You know, um, police officers spent 30 years or more in the police force and never been on vacation leave. Reason why? Because he he's afraid of getting a pay cut. Because most of his pay is made up of allowances, you know, and that's how the government um, treat them. You know, normally um, your job, they, you know, you get some reward bonus and stuff like that to, you know, um, to go on your vacation leave with your family. But in Jamaica, it's the other way around. When you're going on vacation leave, they punish you. So you're not. So that's why they're afraid to take the vacation leave, and they won't even pay them um, whenever the vacation leave is over 105 days. But the government's the one that benefit from robbing the police. You know, being a police officer is not a big job with many perks. If the police officers were getting their allowance as others in various jurisdictions around the world they would have taken vacation leave and releasing the stress that comes with the job. On September 2nd, I was watching and listening to a video done by Detective Corporal Evan Blake, who used to work at Huntsbury Police Station in Kingston 11. Two. He was shot twice on duty, once by a gunman and the other time by a police officer. If you want to learn about his story, go back and look for the video. Blake spent 22 years in the police force and he had never taken a day of vacation leave. And more or less, he was one of those police officers who was afraid to lose his benefit. 22 years? No, man. Oh, oh a police officer for work, 22 years, and you do not take any vacation leave. That is behind me. I don't understand that. You understand? But guess what? When members do not take vac vacation leave, their stress level increase. So these police officers, they, they, they come to work, they're miserable, hungry. They, um, so you know that their comportment they, uh, uh, and deportment is not going to be what the police force expected. So these police officers are going to be belligerent, obnoxious, loud, disrespectful to the people then because their stress level is up there, so they don't get any time to, to get any R&R. &R. So 22 years, oh man, that's, that's bad, man. You understand? So he put them at risk for all kind of ailments such as hypertension, diabetes, which is a serious killer, which can lead to impotence for men. Thus, many of our police officers are on the waving gallery. Yeah, you know, um, most police know what I mean by the waving gallery. You understand? And the reason is because their soldier cannot come to an attention. You know, you go upon the drill scale, attention, you stand up. Yeah, they soldier, you say attention now, the soldier, no, your foot can't move. Not even Viagra can help them at all. So you see what not taking vacation lead can even lead to impotence. I have left the Jamaica Constabulary Force for more than two decades. And guess what? It is the best thing I have ever done in my life. Is when is when I resigned from the police force. I have no regrets.
because I am living a life to its fullest. It, keep get a, it keeps be getting better for me every day. And I would not want my worst enemy to stay in an organization that treat them in this fashion. And when I say that, I mean that I do not want any young peep person to stay in the Jamaica Constable Air Force to be treated in this fashion. I have never encouraged any police officer to stay in, an, uh, in this organization that I have served one third of my life to an, a set of ungrateful people in Jamaica. You understand? So you are wasting your time, police officer, running up and down. You understand? Chasing criminal and do all kinds of things. And at the end of the day, you cannot go on vacation leave. But the same people who work at, at D&G and all those places on the bank, you see, when they go on vacation leave, they get everything, just like when they were at work, because their union makes sure that happen. Guess what? The police for them. So you see, police officer, even the people that you think that you know that working at DNG and all those places, even the man that under the bottles that you know that they are um, beneath you because you're a police and you have certain status. These people are getting better pay than you, better benefits. You're not getting none because when you go on vacation, if you lose your allowances, all they're getting is your net pay. I don't even know if you, I don't think you even get housing, so you'd have to find money outside whenever you go on vacation leave. You understand? You know, and as I've said, you know, I have left the JCF more than two decades ago, and guess what? It is the best thing that I have ever done in my life. You understand? When I resigned from the police force, to this date, I have no regrets, none whatsoever, because I am living my life to the fullest, and it keeps getting better for me every day. And I would not want my worst enemy to stay in an organization that treats them in this fashion, where they don't care about you, the people at the top, you understand? From the commissioner of police, um, his boss is slaves, the deputy commissioner of police, you know, like right now, and the assistant coming, you know, it's all stuck with political activists, people who are not looking out for you, but looking out for themselves and their political party that is in power. That's how the police force operates. It's a political entity. You understand? For example, here in the United States of America, if a police officer from Jamaica immigrated to the United States and working as a security guard, because most police in time, they come here if they, um, based on your age, if you're not, you're not joining the military, you have to start as a security guard and then, you know, our BS and our, you know, you go back to school and get certified and stuff like that so you can get a good job. You understand? But if you are a security guard and you're earning $15 an hour, it all depends on which state you live. When, when, he, when you, the police officer, go on vacation leave, you are going to get the same amount of pay. Your pay is not going to lessen. So there's no downsize for them to take vacation leave. Suppose the same member follow my path, the part that I have taken and join the military. In that case, you are talking about 30 days full pay every year with all of your benefits, as if you are serving the country and you are always on duty, even when you're on vacation leave and you are covered 100% of the time, 24 hours a day. 30 days, you know, full pay. You don't have to worry. 30 days, you just take one month leave and you get your full pay. You don't have to worry. The first and the 15th of your month, you get it, your, your check. You understand what I'm saying? Go straight to your bank account. And you don't have to worry. And, uh, you know, this is missing, so I have to be contacting the ministry. No. Everything is, is set. You understand what I'm saying? So, today is September 5th. And I can tell you that my yearly vacation leave is 240 hours. Which... Is six weeks because 40 hours makes a week here in America and I receive all my benefits. If I work overtime, that's, that would be crazy money. You understand what I'm saying? Plus, and I receive all my benefits. Plus, if I'm awarded hours at a certain time of the year, it's additional time for me. So, when I am imploring and begging young police officers to leave the police force and immigrate. It is because there's a better life to live outside of the police force in Jamaica. Far, far better, less stress. You understand what I'm saying? You are young. 
stop wasting the time for a system that does not care about you. You have to be a part of the political establishment and the money they don't work nothing. Police, when you're a police, they are pretty much a beggar. Uh, most police have to cut. You have to have family. You have to have some um, support system apart from your job. Your friends or your family are abroad. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Because police do not get good pay. Period. You understand? If you migrate, you won't be afraid of taking vacation leave. Since you are not going to lose your allowance. Which is something that the police federation, the commissioners... The Commissioner of Police and his both slaves at 103 to 106 Old Port Kingston and the government had orchestrated and planned against the police officers to punish you when you go on vacation leave so that you have less money. It is something that they have done, you know, they, they, they plan it. They want to make sure that your life is miserable. When you go on vacation leave, your employer should give you money to go on leave. You understand? In America, you, you get incentive to go and leave. You understand? Even not my job, I get incentive to go and leave. Yeah, it's called bonus. You know, you understand? Not to take money from you. Your employer not supposed to be taking money from you when you're going and leave. And that is what the police hierarchy has been doing to its member. And the members do not realize that it is an injustice. Do you think the commissioner of police, when he's going on vacation leave, because they don't want vacation leave, you know, because the commissioner of police don't work on weekends. He's at his house, and if they go on boat or whatever, I don't even know if they play golf, because I understand Jamaica is a totally different place. Police officers do not expect anything better from the political activists in the police force, because they are beholden to the people who make sure that they are promoted to screw and make sure that you don't receive the best benefits ever. You just got to understand, those people at 103 Oport, 206 Oport, they will take care of their friends. But if you are not their friends, they are not going to take care of you. They are going to screw you over and everywhere. You do not have any friend in the police force per se, but yourself. So that's why I'm begging you to leave. You understand? Follow the others that I have encouraged to leave. And m most of them, they are happier now. No one should be working and afraid to take vacation and leave. And this is wrong in everywhere one can think of. Your enemy are the government of Jamaica, the police federation, I, police federation hierarchy and the commissioner of police. They don't care about you. Most police officers do not live long when they retire. You see, all the police officers that you have seen, all, um, that you've seen on the screen, these are police officers who retire. Some of them die even while serving, like Detective Sergeant Riley, Winter Riley, um, you know, we were detectives together. He was a detective sergeant and he died as an active duty police officer. It's a very stressing job, you understand? I don't know if it's promotion. Some police even have strokes because of promotion. Um, well, it's a good thing that I am not that kind of person. I never worry about those things, you understand? But most police officers do not live long when they retire, especially below the rank of superintendent. As the stresses of life took, took its toll on the member, when they realize it is too late, boop, they kick the bucket. That they can't enjoy life as they would when they are serving in the police force. And the average lifespan after retirement and living in Jamaica is about three years. Here are some of the circumstances that you as a police officer lose your allowances. I want you to listen, okay? Most of you don't know this because they are young police. And it is legal and they make sure that it is there to hurt you financially, punish you. So you listen, you know, the system is not designed to protect you. The Federation was supposed to be a union, you know. It's not there to protect you. The Federation is supposed to be a separate entity that don't have to that the Commissioner of Police don't have to promote you. That's supposed to be a different entity that the Commissioner of Police and, and the Federation not supposed to be friends or anything like that. They're supposed to be looking out for you. But in Jamaica, the Federation and the, the Federation Whatever the commissioner of police says, that's what he, they go by because they are subordinates. You understand? With police federation is um, supposed to be a separate entity from, from the police force. So when they're talking to the commissioner of police, they don't have to worry. You understand? Because they are on equal footing. Here are some of, the, some of the circumstances. You lose your allowance and it's legal. And they make sure that it's dirty. If you are injured on duties, that is, you are shot by a gunman. 
you are going to lose those benefits. So to prevent you from losing those benefits is to avoid confrontation with gunmen on the job. Stop playing hero. I used to do it. I have done it many, 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 many times. Stop playing hero because if you get shot, you're going to lose your benefits. That's the first punishment. So you get shot, that you nearly... I'm not talking about they kill you, you know. I'm talking about you get injured. So you get shot before you leave from the scene. The same day, your allowance is gone down because that's a punishment. So you get shot. That's your first punishment. You, know? you get shot. And the reason why you get shot is because you're a police officer too. The same police department say, well, he's not working, so I'm not supposed to be getting these other ones. Boop. So you then dink your pay. So you're getting less money after you get shot. You see how the dichotomy, how it work. They turn around and punish you after you get shot. You understand? When you take regular sick leave, short leave, and vacation leave, you lose all of those benefits. You understand? And the reason being, you understand what I'm saying? It is designed to hurt you. It is designed to discourage you from taking vacation leave and short leave. But I used to take all of my leave. You understand what I'm saying? But when you're injured on duty, you lose all those benefits. But as I me, mean, I was very, very fortunate that I have support system and all of that. That, you know, when I'm on vacation leave or whatever leave, I didn't have to go and hustle or do anything. You know, like um, in the early two, um, early 2000s, late, ni- um, late 1990s, thereabout. I saw a detective sergeant um, on vacation leave in the summer. And I saw him, um, he was working as a security guard for um, former commissioner of police, Ellington. At the time, Mr. Ellington was in the commissioner of police. But he was working as a security guard, as a detective sergeant. I ranked on me. And I'm like, wow, you know what I'm saying? I could not be on vacation leave even doing security guard work. And then you have police officer who are on vacation leave. They're working on construction sites seven days a week. So you're not on vacation leave. You understand? And that's why police lifespan is very short. Police officer, Jamaican young police officer, listen to me. We are living in the 21st century and this practice must stop once and for all. And let every police officer take their vacation leave and other leaves without being punished financially. The days when the police force operating in this archaic fashion must stop and encourage members to take vacation leave. I have known Detective Sergeant Buckner who is stationed at 100-man police station. And in August 2021, he suffered an, a stroke at home. No, he's, in a, no, he's not in a position that he can take care of himself as he wanted. And it is because of this cruel, inhumane, wicked, and well-planned method of punishing its members for taking leave by taking away their allowances, which is wrong on all fronts. Young police officer, do you see why I keep telling you guys to immigrate from Jamaica and left the police force to send the left the police force to send Andrew Holiness and Mark Golden? Because none of them, whether you are a PMP, LGBTQ plus, or a JLP, LGBTQ plus supporter, they do not care about you one bit, one iota. The time for you to build a better future out outside of the police force is now and outside of Jamaica where you can and will get full pay when you're on vacation leave and even receive a bonus from your employer when you are taking leave. Thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Please remember to like and share and subscribe and comment below the channel with your friends and family. Have yourself a nice day. And all the best to you. Have yourself a nice and a beautiful week. Peace.